There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, Devo? So I hope you guys are all having like a really great day. It is time to do a wig review. I'm not really sure how to pronounce this company's name, so please forgive if I botch it up, okay? But I think you would pronounce it Priya. Priya? I'm not really sure, but I will leave all of the information down below. This is a full bang lace front. So it's a 13 by 6 lace front or 13 by 4. I think it's a 13 by 6. I'm definitely going to leave it all down below because, for one, I did forget because I've had this unit for a minute. And it's actually been pin curl for, like, a couple of weeks. So I'm probably going to definitely have to take the blow dryer and just give the hair some yeah, volume. Just take I these pins out and cut the lace in the back. And while I do that, you guys, I'm going to just let you check out how the wig came to We go to the jersey, your eyes sing, I'll be worried. You said it was nothing, but I know you get buried. The sorrow of us, the sorrow of us. How did we end up here? We used to laugh so hard. When did we stop loving, baby? So I'm so glad that I don't have to like really adhere this wig down because it's a bang So this makes life so much easier The lace is actually transparent and it's a 13 by 4 I do have 24 inches you guys with the 150% density But the wig is nice like for real if you didn't want to wear with the bang You can always like swoop it over or just brush it back, which is cool but if you want to make sure to um, bleach the knots then make sure you do so but I didn't do that because well I did bleach the knots but I didn't pre-pluck the hairline because I was just going to wear it as is as a bang now it's always good to have a bunch of clips I'm telling you guys because it will help you with styling your hair and ap applying your wig now I did create a little bit more of a bang because I just like it to be fuller. Now this may not be so full to for others, but it's good for me for, you know, the season that it is, um, which is summer. Now I do like the bang to be fuller, but I just didn't want to overdo it. So I did recreate the bang after I washed it. 
and I just brought it more to the um, more triangular shape and I just pulled in a little bit of extra hairs. Nothing too complicated because I really didn't know if I was going to have to cut this bang when I put it on. And girl, let me tell y'all, I am not the best at cutting nobody's bang. Like for real, I'll think it's perfect and it'll still be uneven. So I'm not saying I'm the worst, and but I'm not saying I'm the best either. The hair is cool. You know one thing I do like about this wig? Look at the parting, like look at that. It did come out seamless like, like skin. But the one thing that I do like about this wig, because it's affordable, and some might think like it's really not affordable because it's $250, but keep in mind it's 24 inches and it's a transparent Swiss lace. So this lace is meltable. You're not gonna see it. But the one thing that I like about this wig is it doesn't have all them short little hairs all over those sparse short hairs. I cannot stand when it has all those little hairs. And this wig does not have that. So I like that this wig doesn't have all those little hairs all over. I call those little hairs fillers. That's what I be thinking that they're using to try to make the wig more, you know, dense, more hair volume. But this wig does not have that. So I'm really happy that the wig does not have that. Now, I did tell y'all, I, I did curl this hair like a couple of weeks prior to this video. So you know the curls was like tight as can be. But also, I like using this blow dryer, especially because it has this brush on the end. Like it makes styling so much more easier. It'll make the wig more full, more, just more voluptuous, honey. So that's the one thing I like about this brush, which is called the volumizer. Four different attachments with this bad boy. Girl, check out Amazon for these type of hair tools. They are great. And this hairbrush was from Shop Miss A. So if you don't have a blow dryer with that particular hairbrush attachment, you can always use those brushes. But look, I'm kind of hand challenged, so I like to keep it like everything attached. Now the bang is perfect length for me. I like it. I like the way it kind of has like that elongated sides. And I like this, like this wig is cute. 24 inches hunties, okay? Now because it's so hot outside, you can definitely put this in a ponytail or you can kind of like swoop it back off your face a little bit. Like, you know, you don't have to have it all out because it gets hot out here in the AZ. In Arizona, honey, it gets hot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray down just the sides right here because I'm going to pin it back on both sides. Now I could have did a ponytail, but that would have made me have to kind of hairspray the whole entire wig but I'm just going to you know do me some couple little twist things on the side when it's hot honey I don't like all that hair on my head but when it's hot honey I will just wear my own hair but I do like bangs and I think this wig is really cute I'm not really sure how to pronounce the name of the website Kriya Kriya I hope I didn't botch it but girl honey look yes girl this is definitely cute especially because they got a bang and already bang for you, okay? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. All right guys, so this one was easy to apply. I really thought I was gonna have an issue with the bang, you know, cause I don't really cut bangs that straight all the time. So I just, added a little bit more hair to it to had to just even it up and cut that but I'm glad I did not have to cut the actual bang because at first I was thinking that I was going to have to cut the damn thing but it came out actually nice so if you don't want to use the bang or wear the bang or wear it with the bang you can always part it as long as you bleach it I mean but if you don't want to bleach it that's up to you but you guys know that I bleached it and I didn't pre-pluck it because I was just going to wear it as the bang but it came out nice it's a great decent volume like the density is decent I'm not even going to complain about that um the hair texture is great like there's really nothing to complain it's affordable it's different i mean you don't have to cut your own bang normally when you see them like with a bang like this it's normally on like a regular full wig like i don't know i don't really see a whole lot of lace frontals lace front wigs lace frontal wigs with like full bangs like this normally it's like something different or maybe just style like that on the website you gotta do it yourself like that or it'll be like on a regular wig cap or it'll be like on a four by four closure. That's like, you know what I'm saying? So I like this cause you can just pull it back on the sides and just pin it up and still have a bang and it looks realistic. That's why I was saying, make sure you bleach the knots on it. But I think the bang is decent. Now, like I said, I did have to add a little bit more of the hairs. Wasn't a whole lot. I do like it to be nice and full. And I do think, I do think I kind of like spread the V part out just a little bit because once I washed it, you know, all the parting had came out of way, the way it was sent to me with the bang. So 
came out decent. I like it. The length is decent. Like, I'm really not going to complain about anything. And the cool thing about it is I wear it as a bang. I don't have to add hairspray to the entire perimeter if I didn't want to. So, girl, easy peasy. And it definitely was lemon squeezy, y'all. So, that's about it for this video. I will link everything down below that I used. Hope you all have a great afternoon, evening, morning, whenever you're watching this video. But I love you all. Stay diva and devolicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Go, 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 go.